I'm rolling it with Donk. This is Kit Scholar, the easiest way to create a scholarship. I hate pitching, that's how I pitch. Jason is out, you just smoked a block before you went up there and stopped being so nervous. You have a great, great product. <laughs> so, just tell you the story. So I, I grew up in the ghetto, like next to crackheads, drug dealers, prostitutes, name it. So I wondered how did I get this far? My mom did not speak English, she came to this country, had third grade education, and I got this far? How, did, how is this possible? That, I realized that she sent me to a lot of boys and girls clubs, sent me to after school programs, and I've met a lot of mentors. I think everybody in this room had a teacher or a mentor that you had that you loved. I was like, oh, who would I pick? Who would that be that one person I would pick? So I thought back in high school, like, oh yeah, Mr. Dietrich. You no, know, he was such a great teacher. He spent one-on-one -on -one time with me, not just about my grades, but about what's going on in my life. And that really helped, because my mom couldn't provide that for me. So when I heard that he passed, it really hurt. I was like, man, a lot of kids are losing out on something. Because he was that guy who gave you that little kick that you needed when you needed it. And he just seen it, and he knew it. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to try to create a scholarship on his behalf. And I look online, there's no way for an average person to create a scholarship. I, well, I can't just donate $100 on, on his behalf. I can't you know, create a scholarship for 300 for my mom or, or the boys and girls stuff directly that I know. Why can't I do that? Wait, I, I could create a scholarship, but wait, I got to fill out five forms? That's ridiculous. I just want to give money. I just want to help somebody. Not only give them money, but choose somebody that's like me that could mentor also. Because I think at the end of the day, it's good to give money, but it's your time's most important commodity. So that's why I, that's why I built it. And um, this is my, uh, these are my friends. Only had time to talk to 20 of my friends. All 20 of them agreed to um, at least create a scholarship for $100. I have friends who are in the Army. I, oh, yes, that's Justin B. But that's not my friend. It's her. <laughs> she agreed to create a fund. She's a journalist, and she works at 106. Um, that was my director. I created a fund for him. And he said, like, you know what? I'm going to create a fund for somebody else, too. Who would you pick? I guarantee I've been here and had a mentor or somebody that you want to fund and create a scholarship in their honor. This is my brother who developed everything. Okay, um, <clears throat> so you know, this is my uh, first Cyber Weekend. I had a great time, love it. I would use Kick Scholar. To, to create a, a scholarship or to um, have funds where a college student they will, could come and join an event like this and get this experience. And they could get no sleep for three days. <laughs> um, so when they come, um, now this is our site. Um, and, you know, it's, um, so there's three things you can do. Um, so I'll come, I'll, I'll create a scholarship really easy. You put, you put a title, the amount you want to pledge. A description and also other options if you would like, and then just hit create and it takes you to a, a payment <coughs> processor and and then boom it's it's live. So, uh, and, and now that college student Joe, he comes to our site, he registers our site, and what we do is we you know we use Facebook connect, we, we pour his profile in so we get his interest. <laughs> And because we know it, it, it based on his interest and also the profile he filled, we will have to determine uh, he's going to go to University of Buffalo. So these are so these are scholarships that, that are available that he could uh, be, be part of or qualify for. If he's a computer science major, these are scholarships. Um, if he plays sports, so you get the idea. And you know, so the great thing is, you know, here's the here's the, the start weekend I created. The, um, you know, Joe comes. And he's like, all right, I qualified for these. Um, no. And then I'm a, I'm a computer science major. I have more than a 2.0 GPA. He hit, hit apply. And then I get to choose. Right? He's, Joe's a great guy. And he, he's going to be my, um, my recipient. And then also, you know, if you're look, looking for assistance, there are also local assistance as far as like potential mentors and advisors also because we want to build a more of a like social educational platform for, um, for kids. And, uh, and our site also has you know, blogs and, and, and more information about how they can um, pay for the tuition and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to we'll talk about the user experience. Great. Well, you've heard some really great personal stories about why this site was started. But really, let's look at the big picture. We have $30 billion happening in terms of charitable giving to the education sector. But a lot of students aren't getting it. In fact, the average scholarship amount is $2,500 and only 5.5% students are getting them. 
So let's take a look at the social education space. We just saw a company called Shag receive $220 million from Kleiner Perkins, and that's the space we're going to be in, social education. Thanks. <laughs> That's a really good, uh, big idea. Let's see that. Explain how you guys, um, how you make money, how you grow this business. So this is about us, Gift Ward, who takes 7%, and uh, Kickstarter takes around roughly 5 other places, and Google will take 9%, same exact thing. And it's $30 billion industry, so even 1% of that we'd be happy with. <laughs> how people make shit with of money, that's my dream. <laughs> <laughs> how do you validate the students? <laughs> Uh, in regards to that's, that's a great part. It's just a platform. So you yourself actually pick your criteria. You, if you want them to write you an essay, get you reference letters, we stay out the way. If you just want to help someone, you choose. You create a scholarship, then you choose. Are any of the money is going to hit scholar tax deductible? Um, for the most part, I know that the small donations, like my myself, I myself, I donate to a lot of random things, nonprofits, hundred dollars. I'm gonna bother with. But we will have to talk to lawyers or uh, CPAs and see what we can do. 